back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is miss Risa. for those of you who do not know me <coughs> okay i'm sick the weather has been changing like really drastically um these past few days and so i have like a cold and a cough i don't have corona don't worry i promise y'all i do not have corona these people are being so loud so I'm going to show you guys my skincare routine and I've actually wanted to be doing this video for a while um but I've been kind of like putting it off and I was like okay you know what let me let me just make this video and get it over with so that's what we're gonna do okay so when I say skincare I mean like skin care I'm going to be showing you guys what my face routine is what I do for my skin my body and my lips because it is so cold that my lips are like getting dry so i'm gonna show you guys what i do i'm about to hop in the shower <clears throat> and normally when i'm taking a shower well all the time all the time if i take a shower i wash my face um i use two different methods for cleaning my face when i'm in the shower i use the cerave foaming facial cleanser um i have partially oily skin i do have like I, I would like to think i kind of have combination skin but i really feel like i have more oily skin than anything so i use this this right here and right now is probably not the best time for me to be showing you all my skincare routine because you know <clears throat> it's that time when i break out i don't have to say anything more than that y'all know what i mean so this is what i use and i normally wash my face i try to wash my face for like about a minute um like really like go in and when i wash my face i don't just do like hair you know i don't just do like my face in general i do like my jawline right here like right underneath my jawline because you know sometimes you can like get makeup in those areas and you kind of forget to clean it when you're washing your face so like hair and like underneath my jawline so i'm gonna hop in a shower and when i'm done i'm gonna show you guys the rest of my morning part of my skincare routine so once a week i do a face mask using this right hair from sky organics it is literally just bentonite clay a lot of people would tend to use um a different brand but this one is like a really good dupe for the aztec indian healing clay version it's cheaper does the same thing it's literally just bentonite clay so as you can see i'm just adding some water to it and i normally mix it around in this little container right here with a spoon to try and get it like into like a pasty type mi uh, mixture and then i just put it on my face using my hands it would be a lot less messy to use like a brush um but I just use my hands and it does the exact same thing so I don't put on a thick layer I put on a relatively thin layer but at the same time I don't want to waste the product so sometimes I might accidentally use a little too much clay and I have a little extra I just put it on anyways and then I go as close to under my eyes as I possibly can I don't try to go too close to my eye because that's a very sensitive area I'll also go a little under um, my jaw, like where I told you guys that I washed, just to make sure that the mask properly covers my face. And then I would rinse out my bowl while I wait for it to dry. I usually leave it to dry for about 5 minutes. And then I rinse it off with warm water, very gently. So now that my face is dry, I'm going to show you guys what I do here with this cocoa butter. Um, I use cocoa butter on my skin, so my legs... Uh, my feet and my arms I cover it in cocoa butter I think cocoa butter is what's best for your skin I also will use this for my lips as a moisturizer slash chapstick and then I just change it to a shirt now I'm using my moisturizer from CeraVe this is what I use now this moisturizer is for nighttime use however I do use it in the morning so I just apply one pump to my face and then I apply another pump to my neck and chest area. Now I'm going in with my Banana Boat sunscreen. Now technically I'm pretty sure people will tell you to use like a brand name or like beauty type sunscreen. I just use regular sunscreen. 
I don't use a lot as you can see um, because it spreads very well and I apply this to my face, my neck and my chest. This helps to prevent wrinkles, sunscreen and moisturizer. So now I'm going to take my cocoa butter and a spoolie and just a little bit, very lightly, it's not a lot. And then I normally just brush it through my brows. It gives your brows that kind of like soap trendy effect, if you know what I mean. Just putting on a little bit more cocoa butter on my skin. This is how my skin looked after everything. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup. So I'm just going through my brows first. I had to speed this part up because it took a little while. As you can see here, I'm just, you know, filling in my brows. I am no makeup artist, guys. Y'all know this. But I try my best. As you can see, I was like getting frustrated. I was like struggling to trust the process of like it's actually filling in and looking decent. I kind of thought it was too dark at first. That's why you saw me like rubbing in and like, you know. You see me getting stressed. This is me, stressed. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go with my concealer from L'Oreal Invaluable. This concealer honestly matches my skin tone so well. I know they really want you to like buy a concealer that's lighter and some people like to see like a light um, area on their face. I, I don't. But it really matches my skin tone so well um, once it's blended out and even after it oxidizes it still works so well. So now I'm just going to go in um, with some brow gel from e.l.f. This brow gel works really well. This is the first time I've used a brow gel and I think it's pretty good. Um, now I'm just going to do some eyeshadow. I am not an eyeshadow person. Y'all know this. I suck at eyeshadow. And so I'm just going in with a very neutral looking thing here. Um, I used two different shades of brown and then I blended them together. I used a sort of like nudish looking brown at first. And then a darker version on the edges. And then I just cleaned up the edges with some micellar water from Garnier and then I decided to blend it out just a little bit more and then clean it again just to have the outer area looking a bit darker and I gave it a kind of winged effect you probably really won't see it well on camera but it's there don't worry it didn't turn out too bad and then I just concealed um, the areas underneath it and under my eyes and my face and I blended it out um, with my concealer brush from Sephora at first and then to properly blend it I used actually a buffing brush that I had I prefer to use this than a foundation brush I hate using a foundation brush so then I just brushed my hair really quickly sprayed some water in it and used a little bit of gel to slick it back into a little mini half bun situation um that's like the easiest thing to for me to do when i'm in a hurry and i was in a hurry um yes so then i just went in with some powder that i have um the powder that i have i actually can't remember which brand it is and then i just went in with some mascara from maybelline i used the colossal big shot um, I think it works really nice. I did used to use that on a combination of the other mascara, the purple and yellow one I think, or the blue and yellow one, but it did not work. It left my lashes so clumpy, so I had to stop using it. And now I'm going in with some lip plumping gloss and some lip gloss, and I line my lips. And that's basically it. Okay guys, so I'm back home and I'm ready to take the show, but first I gotta take off my makeup. So I use the Garnier Micella Cleansing Water. This is the one specifically for oily skin. As you can see, it has no oils and fragrances. I use two cotton pads 
The first one I use to target my eyes, get a lot of the eyeshadow and mascara, and then I do my eyebrows as well. And then I take the second cotton pad and I go over my eyes and my eyebrows and the rest of my face because I do not wear a lot of makeup on my face. I also use this to clean my face in the morning rather than washing it with the CeraVe. But if I'm going to wear makeup during the day, I will wash it with CeraVe instead. So then I also do my neck with this and I throw those out. I went to take a shower. Now I'm back. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my CeraVe Moisturizing um, Lotion from Olia. I'm using a bit of cocoa butter on my lips as well as my eyebrows and that's basically it. I also did some on my skin, did my hair and yeah, that's it. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy.